WNJB, New Brunswick. A young soldier from Texas, a team of registered nurses from New Jersey, and a wish to connect, help, and give thanks. Marie Denoy reports on a care package to Baghdad. Like so many Americans who watch and wonder as U.S. soldiers fight it out overseas, the nurses at Raritan Bay Medical Center just wanted to do something. We just wanted to make a difference for somebody and somebody that's helping, you know, protect us. So they get a name of a soldier, a stranger, and they begin to gather things they hope will help him, if only just a little. Videos, snacks, um, pads and paper. They never guessed those packages would ultimately deliver this. Infantryman Specialist E-4 Jarrell Prasad came home in December after serving a year in Iraq. Today, he came to Old Bridge to thank the strangers who, in some ways, saved him. I was in a whole other world, like, where nothing existed. Yeah, it's weird. And it was at the end of a long, tough day that he received the first package. They said, you got a big package waiting for you in the CP. I'm like, huh? Package? I didn't give anybody my address yet. <laughs> you know? I'm like, who, who sent me a package? Nobody knows I'm out here. <laughs> and I came back and, like, I really needed it, something like that. Like, it was just wonderful. Prasad was surprised to find out his adoptive nurse family was from New Jersey. Turns out his sweetheart, they got married on Valentine's Day, is a Jersey girl. What a coincidence, right? I was like, when she said, yeah, we're in New Jersey, I'm like, wow, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, let's go see them. Now that you've met him. Such a nice kid, you know, it just, I, I, you know, you feel, I mean, over there, how hard is it to be away from everybody you know and, and, and your whole way of life? Prasad and his missus are heading home to Texas. He's reporting for duty at Fort Hood Monday. They look forward to celebrating their first major holiday, Easter, as husband and wife, and watch warily for a return order back to Iraq. Rumor has it that will happen at the end of this year. I'm happy to have him back, and um, I don't want to ever let him go. As for the nurses, they've adopted a new soldier, one of their own now. Nurse manager Marianne Finney sent off a son to Iraq last month, bringing their cause full circle. He called me this morning, and he's doing fine. Um, much different, you know, uh, different conditions than what he's used to. I wouldn't be able to get through what I was doing if it wasn't for people like her, you know, supporting. I mean, it makes it easier. It makes it so much worth it. You know, at the end of the day, you know, you can look back at all and say, you know, it's because of these people right here. That's why I'm doing it, you know, because good people like that do exist, and that's who I'm really fighting for. Marie Denoya, NJN News, Old Bridge.